Well, it would seem that another pagan Catholic diocese is filing for bankruptcy over, I get this, let me full screen this, 200 sexual abuse lawsuits. 200. And is one pagan diocese alone. Is one Roman Catholic diocese alone. It says, a Roman Catholic diocese, diocese in suburban New York became the largest American diocese to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy Thursday after being named in more than 200 sexual abuse lawsuits. It's, again, I've, you know, I've said this in other videos, Roman Catholicism is pagan Greek and Roman religion, so as a result, they're going to be rampant with pedophilia, homosexuality, fornication, incest, other perversion, because pagan Greek and Roman society was filled with that stuff. The Diocese of Rockville Center in Long Island could not afford to litigate, sorry, not good at reading on my computer, litigate uh, so many cases. Bishop John Oliver Bears said in a video posted to the diocese's website, the finances had become de uh, depleted after compensating over about 320 survivors of clergy sexual abuse since 2017 as part of an independent reconciliation and comprehension program, he added. What became clear was that the diocese was not going to be able to continue to carry out its spiritual, spiritual and charitable and educational missions. Sure, Roman Catholicism is, it is indeed spiritual, but it's not the spirit of God, it's the spirit of Antichrist. If it were, if it were to continue shoulder to increasingly or to, yeah, to shoulder the increasingly heavy burden of litigation expenses associated with these cases, Bear said in the video, adding to, that the COVID-19 pandemic added to severe financial burden. Uh, Bars said the diocese's ministry would continue and that the filing would not affect employee wages or benefit programs. Parishes and schools are separate uh, legal entities and expected to operate as normal. Uh, Rockville Center is the eighth largest diocese in the country, serving more than 1.4 million Catholics, according to Georgetown University, a Jesuit university, Center for Applied Research and Apostolite. Apostolite, I think that's how I say it. The filing makes it the largest American diocese to, to declare bankruptcy so far. The wave of lawsuits came after New York increased the statute of limitations in early 2019. Uh, creating a one-year window for child sexual abuse victims of any age to pursue their cases. The Child Victims Act also raised the maximum reporting age for child sexual abuse from 23 to 28 in criminal cases and up to 55 in civil cases. The Catholic Diocese of Buffalo filed for Chapter 11 filed bankruptcy protection in February, also citing its primary aim was to resolve lawsuits brought under the new law. The Buffalo Diocese cited about 250 sexual abuse lawsuits in its bankruptcy uh, petition, adding that anticipates that in, uh, in excess of 400 individuals may assert abuse claims. The Archdiocese of New York, the second largest diocese in the nation, came under fire in 2019 when it identified 120 priests or deacons accused of sexually abusing a child or having child pornography. You know, again, just the wickedness and immorality inside the Roman Catholic Church. But you know, they're filing for, for uh, bankruptcy, you know? And that's good. I praise God for that. We will work diligently with all survivors, creditors, and ministers to maintain open communication while we work towards our goal of a settlement and a re, uh, restructuring plan uh, that includes a comprehensive resolution for the suffering survivors, Barr said. Yeah, like they care. Why do they keep covering it up? I mean, the Pope Benedict, he kept covering up the abuse, moving them from parish to parish, from church to church. You know, the Roman Catholic Church is not the church of Jesus Christ, it is the church of the Antichrist. And it will be the seed of the Antichrist when he shows up. And I do believe the Antichrist will be a Pope-like figure. But Matthew chapter 18, verse 6. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hang about his neck, hang about his neck, and he were drowned in the depths of the sea. Matthew chapter 18, verse 14. Even so it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. So, Jesus Christ is against this wicked pedophilia going on inside the Roman Catholic priesthood. And, you know, God's going to destroy the Roman Catholic Church. They are Mystery Babylon, and they are the seed of the Antichrist. So, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. It is not Christianity. It's just pagan Roman, Roman religion repackaged. Which is why they have all the pedophilia, fornication, homosexuality, etc. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.